right now on Higher Journeys with Alexis Brooks. Hi everyone, welcome to Higher Journeys. I am your host Alexis Brooks and I am so delighted that you've decided to join me today. Yoichi Otibi is a fantastic producer, film producer out of Japan who has completed a project along with a whole team of uh, producers and wonderful actors that I know you all are going to enjoy. The name of the film is The Real Exorcist. And at first blush, when you hear that word exorcist, you think, ooh, thriller, evil. And yeah, there is definitely an element of, of evil uh, in this movie, but that's not what this movie is about. It's really about the forces of good and evil and who wins in the end. This is a, a film that I had uh, the, the great pleasure of screening just yesterday and was really looking forward and, to the chat that we uh, just wrapped up a little while ago to really dig into some of the themes that they uh, expose here in this film, very real life themes coupled with sort of a supernatural um, overarching flavor, if you will, the forces of good and evil, uh, what can be seen versus what cannot be seen and what's happening in our world right now to a great extent. We talked about the timing of this film coming out. It's actually not quite released yet. They're hoping to do uh, a limited release in August with everything that's going on um, in theaters. It may or may not happen, but nonetheless, you'll, it, it'll be coming to you at some point in the next couple of months, whether in theater or in your home. But we really got into the, the, this idea of, again, synchronistic timing, the themes that are explored in the film and how they're so applicable to what is happening right now, not the least of which is this exponential rise in suicides all over the planet. These are some of the themes that were explored in the film, suicide, bullying, family pressures, peer pressures, and how an individual that has extraordinary abilities has decided to take those abilities to help individuals dealing with all of these uh, challenges for the greater good. It's, it's a wonderful theme with a perennial message, but the way it's done in this film is quite unique uh, and, and really touched my soul. So I hope you will enjoy uh, my interview with Yoichi. I had to really practice how to say his name properly. I want to make sure that I got it right for all of you and for him, of course. Uh, what a wonderful gentleman and a fantastic film. So right now, have a listen to my, and a, and a look at my interview with Yoichi Otibi. Oh, and before we get started, just a quick reminder, if you like what you're seeing, if you've seen the show before particularly and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, give the show a thumbs up if you enjoyed the episode, and we'll see you on the other end. Hi, everyone. I am so delighted that you decided to tune in today for what I know is going to be an enjoyable conversation. I'm here with Yoichi Otibi. We just practiced off the air, making sure that I got the pronunciation right. And you'd be laughing, juniors, if you saw my <laughs> notes. I had to do everything phonetically, <laughs> but I think I got it. In fact, I'll, I'll tell you a little secret, Yoichi. At, before we got on the air, I was doing a little cheer. Yoichi. Yo, Ichi, <laughs> just so I could get the, you get <laughs> get the pronunciation. Yeah. Welcome to Higher Journeys. Konnichiwa. Welcome. Thank you so so much. happy Thank to you. have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, we're going to be talking about a movie that I had the pleasure of screening uh, just yesterday. Yo, Ichi, it's fabulous. It's mm -hmm. called The That's Real it. Exorcist. That name, I'm going to start start and stop with that. Let's, let, let's start with this question. The Real Exorcist, we're obviously going to get into it. In fact, Journeyers, I'm going to be showing you a trailer very shortly. Mm -hmm. Tell us, if you would, where that name came from, The Real Exorcist. Okay, so, um, well, there's a lot of movies that talks about Exorcist, right? And usually, if it's Exorcist, people think it's a horror movie. It's very scary. Um, but the, the thing about the, the horror movie is that the intention is to, to, you know, scare people and it's like being on a jet coaster, roller coaster, having fun in being scared and that would like get people excited. But our intention was not to just scare people off, you know, mm. and have enjoy the, the horror portion, but it's not real horror, but it's a... Uh, we wanted to put more uh, like answers to it. I don't know. You've seen the movie, so it's not just 
wow, scary, done. But there is a reason why what's happening and there's a solution and also there's an answer how you can go about it. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the kind of things we wanted to put together in this movie. That's why it's not exorcist. But it's actually it's a real exercise. A real exercise. People, people can take something back and utilize it in their everyday lives. So. This is definitely a message-driven movie. And before we get any further, people yes. may be taking this a little bit out of context. Let's pause mm -hmm. for a minute, Yoichi, so every mm -hmm. can, everyone can watch the trailer. It's a fabulous trailer, sure. and I know it's okay. going to be just That'd enough be of a teaser. You're going to want to see it. So let's watch this trailer, and we will okay. be right back on the other side of this. All right. I was on my way to the bank, and then all of a sudden I... Now I know. His name is Tadokoro. Huh? How did you... I remotely viewed it. Remotely viewed it? Buddha had supernatural powers. Power to see through the past, present, and the future. So are you saying you have the same power? Well, kind of. Just a fraction of it. Well, I just want to help people in need. Save the soul of this lost girl. Light! Cross! Tolerate you, devil. Fight! Fight! Don't you know that? She's the light of hope for everyone. And your temptation won't work on me. I am never abandoned. All right, everyone. I think that's enough to, uh, have your hair stand on in a little bit but also <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe now that you've seen the trailer you'll get a better idea as to mm -hmm. what was going on with yes. uh, the real exorcist this is about you know i was trying to think of two words that would sum up this main character whose mm -hmm. name is sayuri I, if i'm pronouncing that right she's lovely yes. by the way yes i would say her personality is about innocence and strength mm -hmm. innocence yes. and strength yeah tell us about Let's go back a little bit. What was the inspiration for making this film the way you did? And why, why did you do, why was it done? I know there were a bunch of producers and the screenplay has been around yes, for a bit. Course, yes. But why now? Why, why put this together now? Well, actually, uh, the main story was written by uh, executive producer. His name is Riho Okawa. So he's the one who actually put the story together first. It was a basic story. And actually, most of them are coming from his real experiences. Mm. So it's not a true story, okay? But everything that's happening from him, his point of view is real, okay? So he just wrote down a lot of things, stories that happens to him. Uh, and his daughter uh, actually is a screenplay writer. So she put together uh, the whole set of uh, uh, this movie uh, story. And the producers would come together and kind of put everything together. So, so that's you, how we actually, so it's actually based on the, the true incidents. So true, well, let's get into that a little bit. I'm very curious about this. So, folks, without uh, giving you a spoiler, uh, you need to know this is about a, a young girl who discovers that mm -hmm. she has telepathic abilities. And it's, yes. it's quite jarring to her. because She'll be walking down the street and she can pick up the thoughts of other people. We know, yeah. Yoichi, that this is a, an ability that exists even though it yes, cannot it be quantified by science it's still mm -hmm. anecdotally uh, evidenced that this right. is real so are you saying yes. to me that uh this this ability did this person that you know have that ability mm -hmm. as well all right of course talk about that a little bit to what extent well, to, to what extent in terms of t we're talking about telepathy essentially yes 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 so uh you know uh yeah, it's telepathy. So you can peep, uh, you can read people's mind. Of course, you can see the past and the future. Okay, or oh, oh, the 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 reading. You know, um, in, I'm, I'm trying to figure out this Japanese English word. Um, so you don't have to be in the same place, location. Mm -hmm. You can see, it, you know, far away from this far distance. From remote, where you are. remote. 
modes, mm-hmm. remote viewing, I guess. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what we call it. So all these uh, uh, abilities. Yeah. So he wanted to take mm-hmm. those themes and put them into a, a young woman. How old is uh, the, the character Sayuri? Oh, uh, it's, I, I, I guess it's in tw- she's in 20s, right? Mm, very young. Sometimes. Yeah, young, younger, younger twenties, in twenties. Right. Yeah. We were talking. So about... the, yeah, character setting is is uh, yeah, because uh, the the girl Sayuri's actor Yoshiko Sengen, she's a pretty famous uh, actor in Japan. Oh, uh, not not famous in the U.S., but very famous in Japan. Everybody knows her. So she's lovely. Uh, she, yeah, she's a lovely, lovely actress. So yes, yeah, so we decided to uh, you know have her on board. So, again, I'm trying mm-hmm. to figure out how far I can go, Yoichi, without spoiling yeah. it for the people. But oh, I no, do. We can talk about it because, uh, yeah, you, you can talk about the suicide. Maybe you can talk about suicide Let's as an talk... example. Well, uh, what I'm going to do, here's uh, what I'm going to do. I want to paint for the audience the, the general, what we're talking about here. We're talking sure. about a young woman who discovers that she has the ability she has a very strong psychic ability where she's, mm-hmm. she's empathic. She picks up the thoughts and also the history of people. And she has this very strong desire to want to save them. This yes. is what this is coming down to. So rather yes. than take the ability and just uh, abuse it, she mm-hmm. wants to give back to God. This is That's based right. I, a oh lot on Buddhist oh, teaching, oh. Buddhist teaching. Let's bring in the Buddhist element to this. Mm-hmm. Yes, so it is. So she studies uh, a lot of uh, Buddhist teaching because uh, she uh, she didn't know how to go go on. I think there are people like that in this world. Actually, you know, doesn't know how to go on with the ability that they have. Mm-hmm. They need to control it. So she found a way of controlling this ability, and one way was not to to to, to take it in and and you know be humble about it. Um, you have to be honest and don't use this power for something that is for yourself. I mean, think about it. If you have this power to do something like she can do, I think all many people would just go out there and use it on their own, for mm-hmm. their own. But just like all, all other Avengers movies and things like that, superheroes, heroes don't do that. They, I don't know. That's why these heroes, they, they don't do it for themselves. But I don't know why they, they they decide to use these powers for the people, for the others, for the love of the people, and that's the beauty of this this film, and that's that's the way uh, to control yourself. So this movie has a message. It's it's about the girl who has a supernatural power, but that doesn't mean it's just something special for those people. This movie is for. Because you'll be able to understand what I'm talking about when you watch it, but you get the, the sense of how important, you know, being being loved, you know, to to love other people and to to have great great gratefulness for God. If you don't like to use the word God, you can use Buddha or higher consciousness of universe. But hey, there's something out there that is much much bigger than just human beings, right? So we need to be you know be grateful about it for for this person for for this being. And so all these good things that should be coming out of us as a human nature, I think it's all condensed in this movie. So I think all these things are something that we're missing today. And I think hopefully this movie would be entertaining, but it will kind of remind us, you know, you know, what is it that we're missing? Uh, why is this happening to us in this world today? I mean, when we made this movie, COVID wasn't around. You know, everything was just fine. So we were so excited about just going out there with this movie to the world. But now, now, the situation has changed so much. So much. It's just so much. But in the other hand, there's there's more meaning for this movie. I you agree know, with just you. Just honestly, it's not like I'm trying to sell this movie. Just that honestly, I think there's something more than than what more value or more meaning to this movie now because what's happening to this world. I think there's something we have to like, think about, you know, maybe we need to be awakened to something that is next step for the human race. I don't know. I don't know how to put it together, but we are missing something definitely. So hopefully this movie would like give some hint. 
to the deep. I'm sorry, I'm just going a little off. No, I, I, I think you're right on track. No, 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 please. I think yeah. you're right on track and you see me nodding my head. I agree with you. I saw the movie in its entirety and I thought the timing could not be more perfect. Yeah. We have time to sit now and, and contemplate and think about yeah. these things, not yeah. only so, the fact that we have, many of us have these abilities and don't know how to put it to good use. Right. One right. thing I want to say, Yoichi, about the character Sayuri, Sayuri mm -hmm. is <clears throat> she used her love of God and love of helping others, I think, to power her abilities. Yes. Talk about that. I think so. Well, again, this is... It's about it's the movie, but I think it's also reality too, you know, um, because we human beings, this is a, the, uh, the core, core teaching of Buddhism, I think, is that we are the light itself. Okay? So we were, we were born as a sinner. We were not born as sinners. Okay? We don't have sins, but we are born as a light or like a part of God. We are, everybody is part of God. So we all have the same ability as what God has. And, you know, God in the universe is, is the full energy of positive energy and energy of love. So that means we have them in ourselves too. We all do. And it's, it's up to us whether we want to, you know, expand it or like, like well up from within. Okay. Or you don't. And, and the only, only way you can, really well up this energy is by your, your way of thinking, mm -hmm. you know, mindset, the way that you want to do it or not. If you want to do it, you can't do it because you already have it inside of you. So if everybody can start to realize the true power of love that we all have or the light that we all have inside ourselves, that, that would be the only way to connect to a higher source of energy, which is the positiveness, 100% positive. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, Sayuri is doing exactly what, like, the, the laws of the universe. Like, you, you know, look into yourself, you self-concentrate, be humble, be grateful, think about others, you know, get those love, energy of love from inside of you to outside. That, that energy would connect right straight to heaven or uh, universe. And with that, of course, you're going to get more energy and power. Absolutely. Beautifully right. said. I agree. Yeah. Guys, it's a, this is a, it can be a tearjerker. There's an, again, there's an innocence about the way it's done. It's so beautiful. And may I mention that there's this location that seems to be mm -hmm. very interesting and, and central to the movie and it's called Cafe Extra. Extra yes. Where did that come from? Is that connected to Exorcist in any way? Uh, uh, no, it's just a setting. Okay. Is setting because Sayuri is an ordinary girl, right? Mm -hmm. So she needs she's a, she needs to be ordinary. She's she had a supernatural power, but you know she's ordinary. So you know she, she when she has very difficult difficult time with her ability, the cafe's uh, uh, owner's uh, wife just happened to find her right in front of the cafe, and she invites her in. Hey, how are you? Are you okay? Please come in. And that's how the story unfolds. So Cafe is like a center of the entire movie because uh, it's a great setting. It's, like, it's so peaceful and it has this very nice, calm energy of just being Cafe, right? Mm -hmm. Cafe, people go in and out, in and out. So Sari, you see in the movie, has this little sign that says, you know, free consultation, and people just watch that and whatever they have in their mind, they'll say, oh, free consultation. I have this, this you know, very bad thing happening with me. So let me, let me just go in. They just kind of walk into the cafe and you, you meet this beautiful, you know, innocent girl, Sayuri. You say, hi, you know, welcome. I think you just see the trailer. And that's how the story unfolds one by one. So it's a perfect setting, cafe. Yeah. So people ask us, where is that cafe or like, do you still have them? Because I think we, we can create another version or like a web series just having that little cafe, you know? Yeah. But of course, it's all it's gone. It's, it's a set. So. But, and they but, talked uh, about the... I've never seen people talk about how delicious coffee is. <laughs> 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 Full conversations around the coffee beans yeah. and, 
and people, you guys, you will see it, yeah, guys. Because, You'll see this movie. Like, Japanese, Japanese people love coffee. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. it's fantastic. Also American too, like blue bottle coffee is, is pretty, you know, it's coming back. Like natural coffee, you know, like dripping coffee is right, right. Uh, the true taste. So single origin. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let's get into some of the things that are confronted as themes in this movie, Yoichi. And we're mm-hmm. we're talking about things like suicide and yep. bullying and peer bullying. pressure and jealousy and family mm-hmm. and parental expectations and regret. It goes yeah. on and on. And and yep. Sayuri is running into these individuals that are coming into mm-hmm. the cafe that yes. are dealing with all of these things. Yes. yes. Again, it's really something how everything that meant that we just mentioned here and now obviously mm-hmm. has existed all over the planet to some extent, but now more yeah. than ever, particularly with suicide. Yeah. What do yeah. you, what are your thoughts about? Um, let me ask you this. Once mm-hmm. people see this movie, particularly mm-hmm. as it relates to suicide, cause you spent yes. a good bit of time on yep. that. What yes. might people take from the message that yeah. Sayuri yeah. imparts yeah. Yeah. about suicide? Actually, yeah, actually, like we are uh, contacting all the suicide prevention organization in the United States right Excellent. now. Sending emails out every day. Hi, this is Yoichi, and these are the movies, and is something we can do together, and things like that. But uh, so I think there is a, a realistic way of helping people out through that. The suicide section is probably about ten minutes, mm-hmm. fifteen minutes out of the entire movie. But uh, I think it has a lot of uh, a meet, deep meaning to it. And what the audience can take back is that this is where the spiritual thing comes in. So whether you believe in spirituality, you know, uh, if you believe in ghosts, you believe in uh, the other world or not, that's, let's put that aside. Because sometimes people say, of course there is a spirit. And of course after you die, you're going to go out of your body and go back to heaven. But some people... People might say, no, 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 that's never going to happen. Things just going to all disappear. So let's put that aside, okay? Because everybody has opinion on it. But from a movie's point of view, okay, uh, when you die, your souls will still continue on living, okay? You don't disappear, okay? You still continue as who you are. You just leave your body and you yourself, and you actually go back to the heaven world, heavenly world. Okay, that's like called, called reincarnation in Buddhism. So we are incorporating that uh, that philosophy, that thinking into suicide. So what happens if person actually commits suicide? If if this reality, it's not reality in this this world, but in reality from the other world, if it reality it actually exists, what happens? So the person would commit suicide because there's a reason for it. Okay, there's always a suffering in, and I guess suffering because if you are happy, you would not think about committing suicide. So there's something is so deep that you decide to to end your life on earth. That is heavy. That's mm-hmm. like the heaviest thing okay, for 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 a person to think about, and actually doing it is even you know more worse and sad thing. But by doing this, this person wants to. To finish everything up, okay? They just want to stay away from it, just get rid of it and end it. But you have to realize from spiritual point of view, our spiritual point of view, it doesn't end there, okay? Mm-hmm. Because your life continues on. What happens? That means even if you finish your life, it's not going to end because you're going to still have the same feeling of hatred and anger and suffering. So what we're trying to tell people is that Let's say only if it does exist, it does continue on. Think about it, okay? What is it that you can do? Um, because it's going to continue on, on. So there has to be a reason why this is happening to you now. Okay? I know it's hard because uh, putting the self-help kind of mentality into a person who's suffering, thinking about committing suicide is going to be very tough for this person. But this person needs to understand there is a reason why this is happening, okay? And our our belief is that God or universe would never give uh, something that this one person cannot overcome, 
Okay? <laughs> it's like a workbook. We call it workbook of our life. Okay, God gives gives us like few workbook books in our life. Sometimes it's huge and it's, sometimes it's small. Small ones, it's easy to go over it. But sometimes you hit these big ones where you're going to have so much trouble and suffering through it. But if you think about it, you know, God would never give something that I cannot overcome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because this is the life I've been giving. And if I finish my life here, I'm going to continue on anyway. That's right. That means there's I... a reason for it. Think about it. You know, what is it I can do? Let's, let's do one more step further. You know, there's, maybe there's somebody you can talk to. Um, then you can start thinking about it in a little bit of a different perspective. So it's just another way of, you know, helping people out uh, in, in, in mind, mentally, to overcome the suffering because it's going to go away. It's going to go away. So What I love about this is probably... I'm sorry, I can talk about this forever. I know. I well, I'm letting you go. Be, yeah. I'm letting you talk because the, on this particular thing because it's so important. And, you know, yeah. I'll tell you, I'm thinking of something. I don't know whether you can do this or not because I had made a little request before uh, we got started and unfortunately you couldn't oblige. But I'm going to take a chance. We're on the air and I'm going to take a chance. If you can't mm -hmm. do it, I understand. But Yuichi, for the 10 minutes of that piece... Yep. Yeah. Is there any way you would allow us to have that little clip? It's so important. Oh, actually, we have uh, uh, about two minutes clip of that, that of the scene. Tell you what, uh, Journey. Yeah, you I'm... can play. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm in... okay. That's enough. That that actually talks everything up. It's like giving away the movie almost. But it's I know. About... It's important, it's two... though. It's actually two, two minutes. That's why we feel there's about four clips. Every one, one of it is two minutes. And... It has all these important scenes. So Very important. Will be able to see. Wow. Right. You know? So here's what I'm going to do, guys, because mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to be able to get it in this particular uh, yeah. airing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on our Patreon. I want our members, if, if you're not a member of Patreon, I'm, I'm doing this for, you know, a reason. I, I want... <laughs> People that really, really, really want and need to see this, particularly if it can help yeah. a family member or yourself, yeah. come yes. on over to Patreon. Uh, Yoichi, if you could get it to me after, I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get it on there. It. I think sure. that would be great. And it's voiceover version, so it's easier. It's tough. Yes. Okay, great. And by the way, the movie is, I saw it, uh, the screener, I saw a subtitle, which was actually very mm -hmm. easy to follow. It's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. Yeah. But yeah. it is, uh, there's an English dub version. But the mm -hmm. suicide subject, I think we could probably do a whole show, obviously, on yeah, that. Definitely. Um, definitely. What I loved about the movie, Yuichi, is how Sayuri, when she, she, this is a little bit of a spoiler, a little bit, no, it's but it's yeah, it's but it's good, about yeah. how she took a young student who committed suicide. She was mm -hmm. able to reach her from the other side yeah. and she was stuck, yeah. essentially. And yeah. she was able to bring her back, it seems, physically mm -hmm. for just long enough to explain mm -hmm. to her why what she did isn't going to help. Yeah. But yes. here's the big thing. Mm -hmm. Not only by Sayuri bringing this this lost soul who committed suicide mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. making her understand what she did she also helps someone who may have committed suicide which is why this lost soul i think was haunting a, a student who was alive right yeah yes that's right so she saved two sayuri saved two people yes she was able yes. to send the person that committed suicide into the light mm -hmm. And she yes. also, it seems, uh, helped to save someone from mm -hmm. committing suicide. Right. That's why this is so powerful. Yeah, it's so powerful. Yes, I, I agree. And, and um, it also we're going to help a lot of people who are suffering from having to lose someone in suicide. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. if you lose one person, there's maybe, I don't know, 20, 50 people around this one single person. You know, having suffering, have to suffer, especially if you are the family member, they have to suffer through the rest of their life. You know, having the loved one, you know, lost their life on their own, that is, that's so painful just to be, be left in this earth with that scar. Yes. So, you know, just, just by uh, pretending to, to think this is real, that would kind of heal people's heart because healing the wounds of the heart is, is it's a magic. 
Okay, and it could continue on for tens and twenty and thirty years, but this one thing that happens to this person it will just kind of pull the needle out of it, and sometimes it will just disappear. It's so interesting how, and、uh, then that that will go into like self reflection type of thing. But it's pulling the needle out of your heart, you know, your your soul, that the suffering scar, they will、mm-hmm. disappear from your life, and rest of their life you can live happily without. Having that in, the feeling of in, negative energy of suffering in yourself, you're going to remember about it, but you'll be able to take it in and move forward. That's that's what it means to move forward in your life, is to to overcome it and pull out the needle, and you don't feel that suffering energy. You know, you know what I mean, right? If you keep feeling that energy inside of you, that means you haven't overcome it. But one day you're going to say, "Oh my God, it's gone," you know. And that's when you know you've done it, you've overcome it. So that two minutes clip, okay, for the people who are having difficulty, you know, left, you know, behind by losing someone you really love.、Mm. Hopefully, that would pull the pain out of their suffering. That would、well. be great. So, that would be great.、Yeah. What a huge, what a huge burden we have. The suicide issue has been a burning issue for so long,、yeah. but again, now with the pandemic, there's so、yeah. much more. So. Let's.、Uh, mm-hmm. I want to spend our remaining minutes, maybe, talking about how Sayuri is confronted with evil,、mm-hmm. and how strong that evil is, and how、mm-hmm. it's around us all over. Here's here's a question I'm going to ask you. We're, we're kind of going from a fiction movie that's based on truth, really,、yeah. to the real world. You know. Okay, real world. Sure, sure. Let me ask you this question. Do you feel there's some people, Iwichi, that feel that we're in a spiritual battle right now with what's going on? That dark、mm-hmm. and light are dark at war. Light. What are your thoughts on that? I I agree. I mean, yeah. I I just have to say I agree definitely. I mean, I mean, it's probably been going on forever on this life on this earth, right? It's always from Jesus, you know, fighting the devil to Buddha fighting the devil to get enlightenment. I mean, it's the that's like the history of human race, I think. But we are at the point where、um, we are too connected in a good way and also in a bad way. So you know, he, Earth is becoming smaller and smaller and smaller every day. Smaller it gets, it's better because all the great things can happen together around the world.、Mm-hmm. But at the same time, if something goes wrong. It can spread so easily, so、um, it also have a negative effect. Because things always have positive yin and yang, right? Back、mm-hmm. and white,、mm-hmm. positive and negative. And more we become、uh, modernized and technology gets, you know,、uh, advanced, it's better for us as human race. But also at the time, at the same time, we get these ne- negative things as a set coming together.、Mm. So that's when I think at this point. The Earth is becoming so,、uh, so small,、uh, where, like, I don't know, the battle between good and bad is actually、um, becoming global in a way.、Mm. I think、mm-hmm. so. That means we are at the stage where we really, really need to fight this. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. You address obviously the supernatural element and the invisible forces. That、mm-hmm. exists, and obviously there's a there's a, a large camp, the mainstream camp that that refuses to believe it exists. But I think there's a growing number of people who have experienced things and know that、mm-hmm. it it has always existed.、Yeah. Give us your thoughts on that broadly. Give us a word or so on that invisible force. When I'm talking about a spiritual battle, are we、mm-hmm. looking at one that may be physical on the one hand, but invisible on another、yeah. level? Sure, sure, sure. So again,、uh, physical everything that happens on this on on this reality, there's always something going something going on behind the scene. So in other words, what unseen comes first, then it becomes a reality. That's how that's how we are, right? So if you want to become a doctor, you have to think you want to become a doctor, then you become a doctor. But if you don't think you want to become a doctor, you never become a doctor. Same as I play guitar, I love playing guitar. If I didn't think I want to become a guitarist, I would never be able to play guitar. 
But one day I decided I want to. So everything comes from the mind. Okay? Mm. Uh, so uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to say what I'm, I'm thinking. Too. I think I know so, where you're going. You're yeah, just, that's so, great yeah, analogy. What's happening three dimensionally is actually happening within our mind. So what you're saying about the spiritual side of battle and the reality battle, it's actually the same. It's again in and yang. Okay, flip side of the coin. So I think the battle of this uh, spiritual side is actually happening. Definitely, yes. Do you think it's even more, do you think it's stronger now during what we're going through? I think so. I mean, I don't know how to uh, analyze this, you know, corona thing. I mean, but you know what, it's so difficult because it's such a such a huge thing. It's not like, you know, um, it's not like a war between U.S. and Iraq or something right. like that. Right, of course not. It, it's something that is uh, uh, is beyond our control. It's out of a human's control. So I have to think either it's the warning from God, okay, saying, guys, you have been too arrogant. arrogant. Have you mm -hmm. forgotten about me? Mm -hmm. You know, punish you a little bit, realize who, that I'm still here and be more humble and what happened to the, 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 the gratitude you have for God and gratitude you have for your neighbors, what happened to all that? You know, why mm. are you so, maybe it's, it's the warning from God. But in other side, uh, from you, from the other end, maybe the, it's, it's the power of the evils that's really mm. trying to take over the good. But hey, that's something, you know, right. you not know about. I, I pre prefer to think it's, it's the warning from God. I prefer to think it that. It way could be all of the above. Yeah. Could yeah. be all of the above. Yeah. We it know. Could be, yeah. You know, all like mixed together. Right. Yeah. So much to think about. And again, this is why the movie can't come out soon enough. Uh, it's something that we all need to see and look at the beautiful spirit of Sayuri and how she's taken her mm -hmm. gifts. And yes. she constantly, even in the face of the devil, literally, they had a battle. Mm -hmm. They had a face off. Yeah. yeah. And I bet you can figure out who won. But uh, <laughs> what a beautiful spirit she she mm -hmm. is, that that character. Yeah. Tell us, speaking of we're going to be winding down. Oh, we're, we're going to wind okay. down very quickly. Tell sure. us when the movie is available, where it will be available, and how sure. to find out more about it. All right. So we are trying, 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 trying to leave this movie on August 7th. Okay, which is soon, but as things are not getting looking too good in you know around the states, you might not be able to open in all the theaters. Maybe just be even uh, just few of them open. Mm -hmm. If not, we'll have to uh, delay the release. Okay, but August seventh is the first target that we're going to try to open in New York, LA, uh, Orange County, San Francisco, Florida, Hawaii, Atlanta, Chicago. And those major cities, um, and but if we uh, unable to, unable to to release it in theater in August, we are gonna come out with VOD September first. Okay, great video on so demand. We everyone pushing forward the VOD. So in case things does not work out in August, we can come out because we thought this message is very important that we need to send it out like now. Mm -hmm. I and mean, actually in Japan, it was already released in May and it was uh, five weeks in a row, consecutive number one box set. And Yay. it's still in theater now. Yay. Yes, yes. So it's been a really good major hit in Japan. So hopefully we'll be able to do a little uh, theoretical release, but push more on VOD and also DVDs. And so, DVD, okay, great. Yes. Yeah. Guys, I, I I think if I can watch it again, I'm going to because there's a lot to um, mm -hmm. to think about. It's beautiful. Congratulations on a wonderful, wonderful job. Thank and you so to much. your incredible cast and all of the producers, the entire mm -hmm. team, please uh, give give our regards from higher journeys to everyone and oh, say okay. thank, thank you. you so and I'm going to say domo arigato gozaimasu. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Now, I don't want you to hang up. I'm going to say goodbye to everybody in the audience. Don't hang up yet. I want a couple of parting words for you. But again, thank you uh, for, for joining mm -hmm. us. And as always, Journeyers, we thank you for joining us for another episode of Higher Journeys. We'll talk to you thank real you. soon. Bye. Thank you.